All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's the Live Drive Jive Archive with your host, Frank Monday. Broadcasting to you live from the central kingdom of the Red Dragon, old Peking, China. Hope you are doing well on this 25th, 25th, 26th, 25th of October, 2021. <coughs> we have got overcast foggy kind of foggy I don't know I guess it's mist misty skies and uh, I am still not able to upload to the boob tube I'm still on my timeout so this will only be going out on mug book boob tube mug book and twatter I looked and it, it turns out that I've actually, I've actually still got a Twitter account. I guess I opened one in like 2017. Who would have known, huh? I didn't even know. Uh, it was a busy weekend, man. Non-stop action over the weekend. It's like never ending. Cook clean drive cook clean drive didn't get really any time for myself this weekend kind of a bummer but you know what to do when life's got you by the short hairs and you feel like it's the end of the world you just give them a yo yo come on let's get some yo's out there in happy land that really cleans the palate when you're down on your luck just remember old Rocky. Yo, that'd give you the eye of the tiger. So I did have time to listen to uh, cool podcasts, Esoterica, E-S-O-T-E-R-I-C-A, Esoterica. I was listening to uh, Dr. Justin Sledge talk about the Zohar and a guy named Sabadai Sidith. So that was interesting. Uh, I think that was his name. A, uh, a fella who claimed that he was the Messiah reincarnate. Didn't work out real good for him. Um, fun times though. Uh, I didn't know, but it turns out that there are certain things uh, I, I knew this in Chinese culture that there are certain things in Taoism you're not supposed to study until you get into your 40s and it turns out the uh, the Kabbalah, Kabbalah is also one of those things you shouldn't study until you're in your 40s and so I think it's interesting that I re-began my study of uh, the Kabbalah at around 42 or 43 years old, just naturally was reattracted to it. I had studied it in my in my youth, you know, uh, via Israel Regardi's Tree of Life and Garden of Pomegranates, so on and so forth. And those things at that time in my life, I did not fully understand them, still don't, but, I felt like even back then that maybe there was something missing, uh, foundational education, I guess. So I put myself through the hermetic uh, neophyte, Z-litter, adeptus, adeptus major, magi type of program on my own. Uh, I even, even went through on the astral with creative imagination and visualization, I went through. Uh, is it what Chick Cicero's uh, self initiation into the Golden Dawn? Met with Golden Dawn groups over the years. Got initiated into the Ordo Templi Astarte or Church of Hermetic Sciences with Pope Runyon, and uh, did all the path working pretty much independent. You know. Because you have to do it in concert with 
an ordinary married life as an individual practitioner. All of that with the foundation of Chinese Taoism and uh, Qigong and Kung Fu studies and Taoist magic. Synthesizing and syncretizing my own, my own system. So there you have it. Uh, in Chinese Tao, a couple of things that they tell you not to study until you get into your 40s. One is the Gu Qin, which is a seven stringed zither, one of the smaller ones. And uh, it's a classic instrument in in Chinese Taoism for, uh, you know, the, the stringed instrument. Ding, 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 ding. And it turns out you're not supposed to start studying it until you're around mid to late 40s. 47 is the, uh, the year they say. There's that and there's a few other things too, like uh, some of the more advanced practices of feng shui. And I always thought when I was younger, and I studied those things anyway, to some extent, I thought, what is this prohibition on age? And the truth is, you just won't really get it until you've already arrived, so to speak, at a certain plateau in life. You can start to see the yourself and the reflection of your, your children growing up and you have a broader view of society. So there's something to that. Yeah. All right, so trying to keep these under 10 minutes going into the future. 10 minutes a pop. We're getting pretty close now. Uh, got a little late start this morning, which means we're in the thick of it. Our speaker just turned off. But when you're in the thick of it, just give them a yo, yo, keep punching. I love y'all good looking sexy people out in happy land. You know that's true. As above, so below, let us pray. Lord of the universe, the vast and the mighty one. Creator of heaven and earth, master of the light and the darkness. We adore thee and we beseech thee. Protect and guide us through the innumerable snares and uh, the earthly sphere. Bring forth enlightenment, revelation, so that we can do away with endless human opinion and discursive thinking, intellectual dichotomization of the original truth. Send Qian Luo, Dan Na, Deng Kan, and Tai Xuan to destroy our spiritual obstacles and debilitate any evil influence and lengthen our healthy years. Beautiful autumn colors out, everyone. Praise be to those who were, those who are, and those who will be. You know I'll see all good looking sexy people in the future. Until then. <laughs>